Hey, what's up guys? Um, so, today I have a for sale video, but before I get to that, um, I just noticed an awesome deal. Um, you guys might want to know about it. Uh, kind of like a steals type of thing, steals and deals like East Coast does. I'm sure he'll make a video already. Um, but anyway, I uh, figured I'd try to beat him to it. Uh, but anyway, uh, on sportstop.com, they have a lime green um, STX Surgeon 10. Um, I've been wanting a Surgeon 10 for a little while because uh, I had the Surgeon in high school. I tried trading it for a Surgeon 10 for a little while, but anyway, it's only $39. Um, how can you really go wrong? I mean, even with shipping to most places aside from, you know, Alaska and maybe Hawaii, um, because they're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, um, that may cost a little more. But um, anyway, it's a great head. It's got the all climate performance technology in it, um, so a lot of the top colleges still use it. Everything's pretty sweet, and uh, somebody just, yeah, yeah, I got messages coming in, but uh, originally that the first message was words with friends, but um, anyway, onto the for sale video, so I can go uh, kick that guy's butt at words with friends, and uh, show off I do actually have a college vocabulary. Um. Anyway, first up, I got an old school chest protector. Um, this thing's cool. Got me through a few uh, few years. Um, it's just I just didn't like the fit after a little while. Um, it's still in great shape. I only really used it for like one season, and then um, you know how when sometimes your gear is at the school. And you just want to have something to mess around with, like having friends over or whatever. You might want to just have something in the backyard that you can just mess around with for a while and wear for the backyard playing around. Well, that's what this was. Um, it was just my backyard mess around uh, chest protector. Um, now that I'm not in school anymore, I don't have to worry about having two sets of heads, basically. Um, so, you know, it's a great shape. Um, all the buckles, everything is still... Still in great standings, um, thick uh, bottom straps, uh, fully adjustable shoulder straps, memory foam, um, Velcro so you can attach extra padding if you really need it. Um, but this chest protector's protection is you know, pretty good anyway. Next up, I think I have the Generation 1 Brian Eraser chest protector. I say the Generation 1 um, Brian Eraser 1 um, because later on they started including a little bit of uh, like a smaller foam around the neck collar to kind of reduce some of the irritation around the neck. Um, this one doesn't have it so I'm, I'm guessing that this is the original uh, rollout model. Um, padding wise, top notch. Um, doesn't have the memory foam like the two does, but if you look at how flexible this thing is, it's it's sick. Um, it does have a nice chest plate under your uh, for right over where your heart kind of would be. Uh, that's probably the hardest part of this pad. Everywhere else, it just seems like a mix of foams um, near your vital organs. You got more plastic underneath the foams. But um, great collarbone protection, great protection all around. Um, I just bought my Maverick Fox, and that's why I don't really need this anymore. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. And then um, last up, I have the Void, but it's the uh, Nas edition. Um, there it is. You can tell the different labeling there. And then to prove that it's a NAS version, you can tell that that's where the uh, gas assist went in for the uh, molding process. So this is definitely a void light, and uh, there's no scratches, no scoopies, nothing. It's basically right out of store condition. I got this as a uh, payment for a couple stringings. Um, I thought about keeping it for a while, and um, I don't know. I just have 
what, four Nemesis heads now. Um, all full, complete sticks. I usually only carry three. And um, I don't want to be like that one goalie that uh, had like, what, 16 eclipses in his house, like two of each color. Um, don't need to be like that. So, um, and I'm not going to say his actual name, although I do know it. Um, because I don't want to embarrass him. I know that he kind of got away from the uh, YouTube thing because of the uh, kind of getting heckled at school. So, um, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, I would try to get somewhere near, if I sell this, I would try to get something near retail value for it um, because it is in such great shape. If it was used a little bit of Scoopy here or there, I'd probably play a little bit more in the price range. Uh, but since it's in perfect condition, just without the tags on it, um, I can't really uh, budge too far on that. Uh, it just wouldn't be right, really, you know. Um, so, yeah. I can sell this strong, too, but again, that would probably affect the overall price. Um, so if you want to trade for it, that's cool too. Um, I'll accept, you know, even player heads, uh, player shafts, heads, whatever you want to try to trade for this. It's cool. Same thing with the chest protectors. Um, if you want to either buy them or trade for them, just send an offer down below. Um, I think I forgot to show you the backing of uh, the Brian Eraser. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the liner is still in great shape, not discolored or anything. It's more of the bib style. That's why the back end's different instead of having the shoulder straps to pull it down. Um, so basically, it'll sit on you kind of like this, where like that'll just kind of dangle, and uh, then your shoulders kind of fit through here. And yeah, that's basically the fit. It just kind of floats. So, um, yeah, again, just make offers. Um, and uh, then as far as my Surgeon 10, let me know what you guys think I should put into it. Um, I'm thinking a college um, replica, but um, I may also go second trial on a heat pocket. Um, just a lot of options there. Um, I just gotta see when I actually get the head what I wanna do. I might just get a straight up idea. Um, I know it's gonna be lime green, so <laughs> that should look uh, uh, somewhat sweet, yet somewhat putrid. Um, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, just, just offer away. Um, just, otherwise, I'm gonna be uh, probably home for most of the day, so I'll be able to respond to you. Um, probably watch a movie. Sit back, chill, you know, do what I do. Um, so, one postal visit for uh, shipping out that gate web, and then uh, my work for the day is done. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, for those of you that are watching um, the the tournament going on for the uh, the weird orange ball shooting into a basket thing uh, that I don't agree with, I, I don't know what the point of that sport is. There's no defense really. And I know I'm probably going to get some hate on that, but um, I'm a hockey fan, so that's my only defense. I, I love hockey. It's like great. So I know that that weird sport somehow makes more money than hockey, but um, I just like hockey more. So I'm never going to really switch alliances. And I come from a basketball family. <laughs> but, uh, my mom, my sister, my dad all played basketball. I played hockey. So um, either I'm adopted or I got the hockey gene. I don't know. They haven't told me I'm adopted, and I kind of have a striking resemblance to my mom, so I don't think I'm adopted. So, um, yeah. Uh, but um, anyway, for the basketball thing, I'm going to say go Cubes. Um, I know some of you guys will say go whoever else, but um, I was born and raised just outside of Syracuse, so I got to stay loyal to my boys. So uh, go Cuse. And that's in basically every college sport.
I know college lacrosse, they're kind of eh, not doing so well so far. But um, every team's got to turn around. Just like the, um, well, I can't really say that. They dug themselves such a hole. Um, I was going to say go Sabres, but yeah, they're not good. So, um, not this year anyway. They, they've had better years, but yeah, this year seems like they got their finger on the self-destruct button. I heard the uh, guys on NHL.com or on NHL Network talking about the possibility of the unthinkable, um, trading Miller, Vanek, and Pominville at the end of the year, which is just, why would anybody think of that? But um, I know they've only got a year left on their contracts and whatever, but screw that. they got to stay. But that's my little rant about that in basketball. So um, buy my stuff or trade for it, whichever works best for you. And um, I'm going to go back to chilling and stop rambling. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.